the times that we live in, it is inevitable that the situation sometimes overwhelms us. Sometimes we become sad, feelings of despair. We look at the realities of the pandemic, of the economic situation, of the politics, of Islamophobia. And it is very easy to fall into sadness, to fall into a sense of where's the hope in all of this. And it is at times like this that we have to remind ourselves of one of the pillars of our faith, one of the pillars of Iman, which is explicitly mentioned in the Quran. And the Arabic term is very important as well, even though unfortunately not many of us are aware of it. And that is the term Ar-Raja. The term Ar-Raja. The concept of Ar-Raja is a fundamental pillar of Iman. And it is linked in our belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it means that we are optimistic and we think the best thoughts about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It means that we have a positive yearning. That's what Raja means. You're expecting the best. You're hoping for the best. This concept of Raja, it is so important that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has described it as a characteristic of Iman. يرجون الآخرة They have the Raja of the Akhira. يرجون رحمة ربك They have Raja of the Rahma of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in fact, we should also learn from the seerah, one of the greatest setbacks for the Muslim community was the tragedy of Uhud. It was a tragedy that literally caused a shock amongst the Sahaba. It was a tragedy that did cause despair to set into the ranks of the Sahaba. And Allah Azza wa Jal reminded them, cheered them up, gave them comfort in Surah Ali Imran. And one phrase he said that Wala tahinu, don't give up hope. Wala tahzanu, don't feel sad. And then Allah Azza wa Jal describes how can you be sad? min Allahi ma la yarjoon. When you have raja with Allah and they have no raja with Allah. Literally, in a time of catastrophe, in a time of sadness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the believers, how can you feel the same as those others, the Quraysh? How can your philosophy be the same when you have raja in Allah and they don't have raja in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So what does it mean to have raja? And what are the categories of raja? And what happens when we have this concept of raja in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? That will be some brief points of today's khutbah. Ibn al-Qayyim defines a raja as thinking or believing that the vastness of Allah's mercy is going to have an impact on you. To have iman in the vastness, in the si'a of the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to believe that Allah's rahmah will be manifested in your life. That is what raja means. And in fact, in one passage, he says that raja is linked to iman in Allah because he asks a rhetorical question. No one, or he says, how can anybody who knows Allah's names and attributes not be optimistic? How can anybody who understands that Allah is Rahman and Allah is Rahim and Allah is Al-Barr and Allah is Kareem and Allah is Al-Muhsin? Ibn Qayyim says, how can anybody who knows these names not be optimistic at all good coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It is in the nature of the divine to be good and merciful. So when we believe in the names of the divine, when we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, automatically that should bring about a feeling of positive energy, a feeling of optimism. And that is why Raja is linked with Iman in Allah. If you know who Allah is, you will be optimistic, simple as that. If you understand the names and attributes of Allah, you will always look and think positive of the future. And there are many categories of Raja. And in today's khutbah, we'll mention only five. Of course, there's more than these, but there are five primary categories of Raja. The first of them, Raja, to expect Allah's reward for our good deeds. If we gave some charity, we have Raja that Allah is going to accept and grant us His uh, blessings. If we are good to other people, if we are praying and fasting, any good deed that we do, we have Raja 
that Allah Azza wa Jal will bless us. And of course, the high